Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. Um, this is the ESX tutorial number six. Now, I was promising for number six that there was going to be a big one, a doozy is what I said, and I'm still planning on <clears throat> putting that tutorial up. I'm just not quite ready for it yet, so this is number six and said uh, that will be number seven. What I'm going to teach you is something very useful. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to run effects from your ESX into uh, you're going to run the, the sound of the ESX uh, individual instruments from the instrument panel in real time to an external effects processor and back into the machine. Now, you could run the main output into an effects processor, but if you run it back into the machine, you know it's going to cause a loop and it's going to be really, really bad. On top of that, perhaps you just want to send one instrument at a time into the effects and that um, kind of stops you from being able to use the um, it stops you from being able to use the uh, the <clears throat> to send everything out of the main output. However, what you want to do, and uh, for this example, I'm just going to be using a sequence that I was messing with. And um, what you're going to do is run individual output number three to your effects processor. Now, in this case, I am using the. Uh, <coughs> Digitech DSP 256XL, which if you uh, have not a lot of money and you can't afford to get a Lexicon PCM Verb, then um, this is actually priced for performance. It's kind of hard to beat in its price range, which uh, you can get one used for about a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's got all your uh, regular effects on it, um, but the verbs are really kind of shines out. We all know that the verbs uh, on the Korg ESX really, really are bad and practically unusable except for, uh, I don't know, as kind of a gimmick once in a while. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to send uh, output 3 to your effects processor, and then I have uh, the effects processor return going into the input. Now, I'm basically using a uh, a balanced stereo cable that's coming in stereo, so I've got full stereo effects coming out of my stereo effects processor. Now, interesting thing about this is that uh, individual three and four, when you assign instruments to that, that doesn't go out of the main output, but when it comes back into the input, if you have your input um, set, which I do, if you have uh, audio coming in, then it goes out of the main. So basically, as you're playing, you can send any of your effects to the um, to the effects processor. If you go to Part Edit and you scroll down until it says Output Bus, left and right is what they're all set to. And with the flip of the switch in a counterclockwise direction, it sends individual instruments to three and four. So in this example, I'm going to play this sequence. Now, the bass line. The, the mid-range bass line of this sequence is this, right? Now, while this is playing, I can send the output bus to 3 and 4, and there you have it, the external effects processor. All right, so... Now it's not being sent. Now it is. Um, I'll do the bass drum. Sweet, right? I'll do the mains. I'll do the slice part. And there you have it. You can send individual parts to your external effects processor and back into the machine in real time. Now, notice that I don't have the audio in through button uh, pressed. You can do that and it'll come back through just like uh, normal at all times. However, uh, I kind of like to use the audio in down here because then I can run that through the effects or, or even while it's playing. Here, let me show you. Here, okay, right, I'll send it to the effects. Here, wait a minute. I'm going to solo this instrument and the audio in. Send uh, there. Now let's go to the audio effects or the external effects. Now the audio in is coming back through. I can use the filters on it. Hey. 
and that's post effects, post external effects. So that's another thing. It's, you can use modulation for cutoff and things. Plus, it can go through the internal effects engine. Anyway, it's a sweet little trick, and uh, there you have it.